Sure. Let's let's get started about Crenshaw's uh, positivity is at a high. Right. His positivity is at a high, which I'm actually saying, being serious. I think it's at a high right now. <laughs> God. All right. <laughs> oh, that's how we're starting. <laughs> from the Played Out Podcast here with Brandon. Hey. Uh, we are going to do a Get Real segment about uh, X-Men, Days of Future Past that recently came out. Uh, with us today is BitGirl, who's been featured on Fam and Flash Media uh, pretty much since the beginning. Yeah. And uh, the self-described Eeyore of the group, Chris, who you may remember from that one episode of our podcast that he destroyed with his negativity. Um, so let's talk about X-Men Days of Future Past. Yes, let's um, talk about Or as I, as I like to call it, X-Men Days of Present. Uh, the, obviously the X-Men franchise hasn't been, had the same advantage that the Avengers franchise have had, which mm -hmm. whether you have, like, you know, obviously one person who kind of is overseeing everything to make sure that it all kind of stays glued together. And, and in this case, I mean, with X-Men, they, they've had a lot of ups and downs, a lot of downs, but there's a lot of good movies, too. I mean, really, just the third one. Well, the Wolverine The movie. Wolverine movies are rough. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the first one, either. The cast and the crew and the director, they all have a de decent job, which was fix all the gaping plot yes. holes that are the X-Men movies. Yeah, definitely. It and did feel the... like they were trying to tie a lot of things together. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different characters and... There was a yeah. disclaimer, I believe, at the beginning that said, do not acknowledge any of the Wolverine <laughs> movies thus far. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Just a long disclaimer at the beginning would have been great. And then it, the, the disclaimer ends with like a Coen Brothers like based on a true story. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So it wasn't, no country it wasn't like an alternate universe. This was just... This was the future. Um, this is one future for sure. Um, Chris, what did you think of uh, the X-Men movie that just came out? Uh, I liked it for the most part. I mean, I still want to see an X-Men movie where the X-Men actually look like the X-Men. Mm -hmm. That's always been my I've always big bone to pick good. was the series. Absolutely. But for the that. most part, I thought it was a good movie. I thought it did a good enough job of trying to paper over all the insane plot holes and disconnects <laughs> and everything. Yeah. That kind of worked against it, and that it didn't feel like a real movie, and more of just like let's repair this so we can make more movies. The yeah. big roll of duct tape. Yeah. Uh, it was cool after the fact because we got a little announcement that the next one will probably be, you know, uh, Old Man Logan, which is a great Wolverine storyline, and could be. Uh, but we got to see say a goodbye to the original X Men cast in this movie. Mm -hmm. That would be possibly our goodbye to uh, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine would be Old Man Logan. At least that's what he's hinted at. So, But did you hear what else he said? What else did he say? Uh, recently they asked him, uh, you know, what would you like to do with the character Wolverine? Yeah. And he was like, man, I'd really love for Wolverine to fight Hulk. Yeah. So he was talking about, like, obviously it'll never happen, but if Hugh Jackman's on board... He's like, I'd come yeah. back for that. Yeah, that would be that would be really interesting if the oh, if yeah. Fox and Marvel decided to put something. And that's together. where Wolverine started. Yeah. First mm -hmm. first first appearance was in an issue of the Hulk. So, but all together, uh, that's I'm gonna put my vote out there. It was it was a good movie, um, for me and in, in the line of the movie, it was my second favorite, right behind First Class. I still like First Class the most, but this this one was a, a solid contribution and and definitely Brian Singer's best of the X Men movies, in my opinion. Right. Yeah, I'd probably agree with that. I think I'd actually put this movie ahead of First Class as okay. my favorite X-Men movie, okay. but that's not saying much because I've never really liked any of the X-Men movies. There you so, go. Thank I you like more. this movie, but it's not great, I think. It's no, it's definitely not a perfect film. Um, it is really close, but I have to say this probably surpassed First Class a little okay. bit. Yeah. And really, I love both stories. It was the characters that did it for me in this one. Yeah. Uh, I love Bishop, even though he didn't get much screen time. They did him amazingly. Yeah. Love to see Colossus actually fighting for once. Yeah. Um, love to see Iceman actually doing something instead of just... Love to see Iceman actually using his ice sled. Yeah. And turning full ice form. Yes. Yeah. Which, that happened at the end of The Last Stand. Oh, really? Very it was Hamburg's Pyro happen. or something. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, Quicksilver. Quicksilver was awesome. Yeah. Uh, totally small for Futurama. Michael Fassbender is like definitely an insane Magneto. Yeah, love him. No, he was awesome. Um, so yeah, this one's definitely my favorite X Men movie so yeah. far, and j but just barely. I love. But the I think story you're right. The, char the characters 
So the first class is great. The most annoying part about first class was, in fact, like the team, the first the team, class, the team characters. <laughs> yeah. So the and, red shirts, basically. And, and, right. Yes, and if you replace those characters in, in this movie with all the future characters, the future yeah. characters. I mean, even like uh, Warpath. Mm -hmm. Yes, like, War I loved Warpath. He was just, and all, all his powers were just, I'm just going to stab things. And yeah. he was awesome at it. And yeah, he just and took those hand to hand combat with these future Sentinels, which you just did not have a chance against. Yeah. And he was just jumping on them. And... Just a quick note surprisingly, no one's mentioned Jennifer Lawrence yet, who was adequate. Yeah, she <laughs> no, not, a lot, she not a lot to do yeah. with the part. But... Very physical in this one, too. Yes. You know, and which is the way the the, the X Men movies have portrayed Mystique is very a very mm. physical fighter, and she was able to pull it off. That 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 was one of the things I did think about her in this. Uh, just phenomenal how much she pulled off that physical aspect. Yeah, you yeah. know. But I I liked it. I'd like to see it again, because um, you always miss things on that first time. And overall, okay. I thought it was kind of cool. It was a uh, real crowd pleaser. People seemed really yeah. really happy. Yeah, how were the crowds yeah. with you, with you yeah. guys when you went to see it? I mean, our crowd responded yeah. very, I mean, they were very <laughs> Yeah, very enthusiastic. Very they, enthusiastic. We, got a, we had a spontaneous round of applause after the Quicksilver yes. fights. Oh, really? Yeah. That's oh, awesome. Wow. That's yeah. awesome. That was a, yeah, weird part to clap, I guess, but everyone loved that scene. Yeah, that was, I guess, a, that was the, that was a show-stopping scene for sure. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. I guess I saw it was people of my elk, because everybody was just like, that was okay. <laughs> no great enthusiasm, but the whole theater of Eeyore. Everybody seemed pleased. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you went. You actually went with the senior crowd. Yeah, <laughs> you did. You were in South Florida, like, right? Yeah, and he was, was, yeah, we all so saw it in different places. It in practically Boca Raton. So he was in Boca. Super, you saw it here. Yeah, I saw it in San Francisco. Yeah. So maybe the, some of the people out there agree with us on some of our thoughts on the film. Did you like it? Did yes. you dislike it? If you would like to express your opinions, please write to us at theplayedoutpodcast at gmail.com. We'll be happy to read your responses on uh, next week's podcast. Yeah. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at the PO Podcast. Well, and don't forget, you can actually comment under this video. Oh, that's right, because this is going to be on the YouTubes. On the YouTubes. All right. So you can comment under this video and give us a like. Like us like, on Facebook like, or like, post a video response. Um, you can't do that anymore. You can't. I never use. You can't. <laughs> Why did I get rid of that? Anyway. Um, because of the type of responses you and I send to people. <laughs> okay. You are incorrect, sir. Yeah, specifically, you guys. You are right. incorrect. So go. See, my my opinion. Go see. Go see. Days of the Future Pass. Agreed. Yes. 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 There are better things you could do with your two hours. But <laughs> But there are works, so sure. All right, thank you guys. Starship Troopers forever.